Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oshale here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about reviewing books and the integrity of reviewing books. Or rather, the integrity that should be involved with reviewing books here on BookTube. First thing I want to make clear is that this is not telling people how to review books, and this is also this is also not telling people how not to review books. This is simply a verbal agreement between you and me. This is simply just me telling you the guidelines, so to speak, that I will be following this year because I will be reviewing a lot more books this year on this channel. This video is to serve as a reference point moving forward so that if and or when the question ever comes up of how I review books and the integrity behind that process, my morals, ethics, and values involving that, we have it all here to look back on and to reference and to answer any questions that any one of you may ever possibly have. First thing I want to say is that I will never review a book that I have not thoroughly read or at least attempted to thoroughly read. And I know this may seem like a no-brainer, but you would be very surprised. I'll just say that Goodreads and Goodreads reviews can be very detailed, and sometimes people do feel the pressure to review certain books, especially popular books here on BookTube. And I'm not saying that I do not feel that pressure, and I do, I'm not saying that I do not succumb. And I'm not saying that I have not succumbed to that pressure here and there once or twice. But, for the most part, I am reading these books that I am talking to you about. And I say for the most part because there have been some books that I have DNF'd, and for those that are unfamiliar with that acronym, it just means did not finish. Um, that's a very small, small minority of the books that I've read in my lifetime, but definitely, you know, while I've been on BookTube, that is a very small minority. For the most part, I do finish all of the books that I talk to you all about, and I am just you know, saying that even just more clearly here on this video while I am going to move on to review more books this year that I will only, I will only review books that I have thoroughly read. Next thing I just want to say is that I will always give my honest and full opinion on any book that I review for you all. And that is barring any outside entity or any outside person. I will remain uninfluenced to the best of my ability and always give my own personal honest opinion and honest view on any book that I present to you all in a reviewing capacity. Going hand in hand with that, if I ever do agree to review a book for a publisher or for any author that has entreated me to do so, I will always, always give my full and honest opinion during my review of that book. I will never bash a book or an author for any personal reason. If I have any sort of personal vendetta or opposition against a certain body of work, I simply just will not read it, or if I do read it, I just will not present it as a review for you all. Same goes for the author. If I have something personally against an author for whatever reason, I either will refrain from reviewing their book as to remain unbiased and give a truthful and just unpolluted you know, review for you all, or if I do read the book, I will be very conscious and I will make it very clear that I am coming from a biased standpoint and that you should take my review with a grain of salt. I mean, in general, you should take all of my reviews with a grain of salt. I'm giving you my personal opinion and, you know, nothing is set in stone and for the most part, it will not be, you know, quote unquote facts. There will be more opinions than facts in these reviews and for those of you that value my opinion that's wonderful. For those of you that will use my reviews as a reference point as a reference point on whether or not to either purchase a novel, borrow it from the library, you know, get an ebook copy or even read the novel at all then that's wonderful. But I just want to make it clear that these are my opinions and that you should always feel free to form your own opinions and whether I enjoy a book or not or review it in a glowing manner or not should not refrain you from picking up the book for yourselves and forming your own opinion. Next, I just want to say that, you know, going along with that, me not enjoying a book that may be one of your favorite books does not mean that my review is not valid and does not mean that my review does not have good solid content in there that, you know, may perhaps 
trigger you to think about some things and to you know consider another point of view i do not feel that it is appropriate to thumbs down or dislike any review of my of mine simply because you do not like the fact that I did not enjoy the book and it is a book that you enjoy or that I did not enjoy the author's writing and it is an author that perhaps is one of your favorites. I do not feel that that is a valid reason to dislike something. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm just stating that here for the record. My reviews will be detailed but we'll also have a spoilery sections and non-spoilery sections so everyone can enjoy the review. For those that have read the book and those who have not read the book can enjoy the review somewhat equally. Although I will be reviewing quite a number of quote-unquote overhyped books. I also am striving to review books that perhaps you've never heard of or you've never seen many reviews of here on booktube. I am striving to kind of bring fresher content to you all and expose you all to books that you may not have ever even known existed and authors that you may not be as familiar with. My mission with these book reviews are to get books that don't receive as much attention kind of out into the mainstream and to give them a spotlight. When it comes to rant reviews, I generally do not believe in bashing books or bashing authors. However, I do feel that the rant review definitely has its place. I feel that if a book just rubs me the wrong way in the sense that I do not believe in what the book stands for, I am grossly opposed to the morals, ethics, and values presented presented within the book, if I take, you know, moral opposition to the author as a person um, outside of their work, although there can definitely be a debate between separating the person from their art, right? Um, which has been an ongoing debate here going on. R. Kelly, anyone? But I digress. I do feel that the rent review definitely has its place. I'm not saying that there will be a ton of rent reviews and I'm not saying that there will be no rent reviews. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I have to actually start reading a little bit more and kind of see what happens and how I react to the certain books that I choose to pick up. But I'm just saying it here for the record that if I do do a rent review, there is a valid reason for it. I'm not just bashing an author or bashing a book because that is not who I am and I do not believe in that. As a writer myself, I understand the, the painstaking sweat and tears and mental anguish and just overall labor that goes into writing a novel so I would never choose to just bash someone's work because you know for whatever reason for the sake of bashing it to jump on any type of bandwagon or hate train like I said already I always want to give my full and honest opinion and I always want to present it in such a way where I'm making it very clear that I do not have any type of vendetta um, out against any author or any work for any reason. So if I do do a rent review, just know there is a valid reason for it. I'm just basically just wanting so badly to get my thoughts out there. There's something about the novel that really rubbed me the wrong way and I feel that it is important to get my thoughts out into the social stratosphere and start a social discourse on it. And I do feel that it is important to talk about whatever it is that rubbed me the wrong way about that work. So I just want to put that out there for the record. That is my personal view on rent reviews and my personal view on how I, of how I will be doing rent reviews. And that's it. If I've forgotten anything, I will leave it down in the comments for you guys to see. That's basically my rubric for reviewing books this year. You can always come back and reference this video in the future and I will continually reference this video when reviewing different books here on my channel this year. If you have any questions or concerns, you can leave them down in the comments or you can feel free to direct message me either here or on Instagram. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah. Bye. I'm gonna be reviewing the books. 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 One, I read every single day. Every single day. No, really, every single day. <laughs> For the most part, unless I'm in a reading slump. But 90% of the time, I read every single day. Number two is I read myself to sleep. I don't know, it's a self-soothing thing, but there's nothing more comforting to me than just laying in my bed all snuggled up underneath the covers with my lights off and my sound app going.